Hey, Shalom. First of all, I'd like to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shah, Bahashim Rakakadash, Yahweh, who the world ignorantly calls God, Yahweh Shah, who the world ignorantly calls Jesus. I want to give a double honor to the apostles of Great Millstone, who are starting this truth. I want to give a peace and blessings to the Akim across the four corners of the earth who teach this truth, and we're just allowed to do so. It's going to be a quick video. Low willing videos, edifying, low willing Akim. Get something from this video. But basically, it's a quick video in transit. Uh, you've been seeing the news about everything that's going on with Ukraine and Russia and America and all that. You know, you could, you could, you know, start to see that, you know, there's wars, rumors of wars. There's talks about, you know, Russia and America going at it, man. And, uh, you know, which we know, obviously, you know, World War Three is, is, is prophecy. And this is what we've been saying for years, man. Okay. Scriptures say, you know, though it tarry, it seemed like it's long, but it's not going to tarry. These are the things that are to come, man. And it's a blessing that the Lord had given us this truth and given us this knowledge and given us his name in these times, man, uh, to call upon him, you know, for salvation, man. You know, and giving us the mind of work and giving us the mind to continue to do videos, continue to move forward and continue to continue to move forward and continue to go out on the highways and byways teach and preach and continue to you know indulge with Akim and, and be with Akim and continue to you know keep getting back up every time you fall man you know what I mean so it's it's a blessing you know these things didn't happen for no reason okay these things didn't happen uh, for no reason now a lot more people expect a lot more people to be more curious and, and what we have to say now, you know, expect a lot more people to be more curious, man, because the things that we're saying is coming up. The, well, the things that we're, what the script was, the, what the scripture is saying that we're saying, which we're reading out of the scriptures, is coming to pass, man. The book is alive, man. It's alive. The book is alive. Okay. It's a lie, man. We know who our enemy is. We know who we are. We know the Lord's name. We know the ultimate plan. We don't know how. We know in part. So we prophesy in part. But we don't know exactly from A to Z on, you know, what's going to happen first. And we have an idea, you know. We have an idea. But we don't know when, you know, the Lord is coming back. But we know what he told us to look for. You know, we understand and we know what he told us to look for. And that's what we look for. And that's what we uh, hang on to, man. You understand? You know? In these times, man, our work is going to get ready. Get, uh, it's going to get paid off, man. I can't even forget that. Scripture said that the Lord is not a righteous to forget our labor of love. We can never forget that, man. We must understand that we can never forget that, man. The Lord is not a righteous man to forget our labor of love. You know, because indeed we've been showing work, we've been showing love. You know, we've been showing labor a lot. You know what I mean? And, and it's and it's reasonable. It's not bad. It's not. You know. It, you know. It's a blessing to even to do the work, man. That's how you got to look at it. You know, to it's a blessing to, to do videos. It's the blessing of being around Akim, around like-minded men. It's a blessing to go out to the highways and byways, teach and preach this truth, man. It's a blessing. It's a blessing, man. Because the Lord has chosen us, Lord willing, I'm part of that that number, that the elect, to, you know, to expose this place, expose the wise of this place. Okay, which there's no wisdom on to do righteousness in this place at all, man. Okay? At all. You know, but yeah, you know, if you've been seeing what's going on, man, and Biden and all that, you know, responding and, you know, kind of, you know, kind of seems to be like a threat almost, oh, um, you know, about what's, what, what Russia did to, to Ukraine and all that, you know what I mean? But, man, we living in them times, man, you know what I mean? We living in them times and the scriptures also told you, man, in the land of our captivity, we'll remember who we are and you know, the son of, you know, they're become a fight, like in Second Thessalonians, there was a falling away first, and then that son of, the son of perdition is going to be revealed, man, which he is revealed, okay, 
And then the Lord is going to raise us back up. He always kept a remnant, man. It was always a remnant in every, every, in every, you know, majority of these kingdoms, man, that, that, that fell. It's always a remnant, man. And this kingdom is getting ready to fall in, and the Lord still has a remnant. That's what this is all about. It's about the elect, man. Okay, it's about the elect. Scripture say he has care for his elect. You know? But yeah, brothers, just uh, eyes on the news, man. Eyes on the news. Eyes on the news. You know what I mean? And uh, so, because we know what's going on. See, a lot of the people, they might panic and they might be scared, but we get excited in these times, man, because we know ultimately, you know, what the Lord is going to do, man. And it's a blessing, you know? So, like I said, man, just a quick video, just a quick little update um, to this channel. Um, you know, low on the videos, at a fine, low I can got something for this video. I want to give all praise on and glory to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh, Shah, Bahashim, Kakadash. I want to tell you, brothers, keep pushing on to the next. Shalom.